All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for a few real people out there just like you and just like me. So out of an abundance of caution, Wingo Starr and his all-star band have canceled their entire schedule for the month of June because Steve Lukather and Edgar Winter both have the thing. Now, what's interesting here is that in the old days, wouldn't you just take a few days off? Wouldn't you just take a few days off and see if things get better? Because there's a test involved, right? And everybody's got to take that test. And from what I understand, these contracts, the way they're written now, is the band has got to be all testing rosy, right? They have to continue to test if they tested yesterday. Uh, they've got to test again today and then tomorrow. And, you know, Ringo had a lot of dates in June, you know, starting, I think, yesterday in Easton, Pennsylvania, and ending in Clearwater, not too far from where I am, at the world famous Ruth Eckerd Hall. And they've got gigs, you know, in a rapid fire context here. You've got just a day off here and there, but it's mostly straight on through night after night. And everybody in this band is a bit long in the tooth. I think Lukather might be the youngest guy in the group. And I think he's in his low 60s, maybe like 63, something like that. I don't know. But Edgar Winter, obviously a bit long in the tooth. Colin Hay, probably right up there with um, Edgar, although maybe not quite as old. Uh, by the way, I watched. Uh, this band perform Who Can It Be Now the other day via a fan-filmed YouTube video, and it was top-notch. I mean, Colin Hay sounds great. Uh, this is a fun band to go see because they just pull out all of these hits and they just bang them out and people are having a great time. This is for what I consider to be a little more than a casual fan because you've got to sort of embrace everything that they're going to do. I don't know about Steve Lukather singing Hold the Line, which, you know, he does on this tour. Uh, I would rather hear somebody like Bobby Kimball do it or Joe Williams, but, you know, they don't have anybody that can sing in the band that sounds like that. But, you know, I get it. Luke, that's his band. That's his song. What's weird is um, Toto was out there with Journey, so I don't know if that's going to affect any of the Toto Journey dates and Journey had uh, shut down the rest of their dates. So why is this happening? Well, you know, we were told that if you do X, then you're going to be great. You know, if you go on over to Walgreens and you do what we tell you to do, you get your QR code and uh, you participate in this new normal. And that's what's weird is this is the new normal. This industry is still struggling. And then with the economy sort of making it even worse right now for people. What if you decided, hey, I'm going to dump some money on Ringo Starr? I mean, how many more opportunities am I going to have to see uh, one of the four Beatles, right? Ringo Starr, who is 81, I think, um, defying logic because I think he's reverse aging. Uh, notice he didn't get the thing, but Edgar Winter and Steve Lukather did. And so they will crank this thing up again in September. So June, July, August. So I guess it takes three months, right, to recover. But I think the schedule for Lukather probably doesn't allow them to just, you know, crank this back up in July and August. That's my guess. Um, the second leg of the tour is mapped out from September 23rd through October 20th. Um, They'll actually be going to Mexico City at the end of the tour. Ringo says, we're so sorry to let the fans down. It's been wonderful to be back out on the road, and we have been having such a great time playing for you all. But as we all know, the thing is still here. And despite being careful, these things happen. <laughs> See, he used the word things. I want to thank the fans for their patience. I send you all peace and love, peace and love. We can't wait to get back in the fall. Meanwhile, 
as he's done for many years, Star is asking fans across the globe to celebrate his birthday with him on July 7th by saying or thinking or posting messages about peace and love at noon that day, wherever they are. Local fan events already are being organized around the world, and more details will be shared at Star's Facebook page. I think Ringo will be 82 years old on July 7th. Um, yeah, you can certainly celebrate peace and love on July 7th, but you won't be able to go and see Ringo's all-star band, which is a tragedy. Again, these guys are sounding great. Um, a lot of fun to go see Edgar Winter and Colin Hay and Steve Lukather, and they play a lot of great songs. They have a good time up there, and it's a shame. The concert industry remains in shambles. It really does because <laughs> you can't just cancel all these dates. How many tickets did uh, people purchase already? I mean, they're canceling all the June dates and we're in June. You know, in the old days, here's a little thing, <laughs> not the other thing, but here's another thing, right? In the old days, you might take a couple days off, right? You might say, okay. I think we got to stop because so-and-so isn't feeling well and we want them to get better. So we'll cancel a couple of dates and maybe reschedule those dates a little bit further down the road. But they just wiped out the entire slate of June concerts and now you've got to wait until September. I mean, this was kind of a summertime, hey, we're going to go out and have fun and see Ringo. We're going to drink $14 beer. It's going to be great and um, hear all these songs and you've got casual fans and you've got old time fans, you've got people who actually know who Edgar Winter is. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So all of that, right? And then all of a sudden the rug gets pulled out from under it. Now I know all of these contracts basically are written to say, hey, you've got to take a test. You took a test yesterday, take another, but I feel fine. Take another one today. I feel great. Nope, take one tomorrow. And if the test, which <clears throat> some say uh, may not be the greatest test on the planet, um, if the test comes back the wrong way, then the contract says that your tour is all done. So that's really sad. Happened to Journey, right? The last few dates of their tour wiped out. And uh, we still don't know, by the way, who got the thing in Journey. They were a little bit more discreet about it. Um, we know that Dean had the thing back, what, New Year's Eve? That's why he wasn't out there to, um, you know, be showcased during the drunk CNN broadcast. Um, but it's cool. You know, this is the new normal and people are so used to it and they're just like taking it in stride and thinking, hey, you know, <laughs> maybe I'm not going to buy concert tickets anymore. Maybe I'll just take a wait and see approach. Maybe this will someday go away, right? Nope, I said it two years ago. This ain't going away, and I've been right so far. Now, it doesn't mean it still can't go away, but it doesn't look like it's going anywhere because people have this new fear factor that's built into everything, whereas in the old days, you know, you drink mom's chicken soup, you know, you stay home, you rest, you take some NyQuil, you, you know, try to do what you've always done, Nowadays, everything's got to stop. So that's uh, my commentary on this. It's a shame for fans of Ringo Starr and his all-star band. Just a great thing to go out and do. Um, so much great music and so many great memories. And again, you're seeing one of the four Beatles in concert, 82 years old on July 7th. I mean, no offense. I mean, Ringo might live to like 120 at this point, but how many more times... Do we have to maybe see Ringo? Maybe we've got a lot, maybe we don't. But for fans who bought tickets for June shows this year, yeah, they might not be able to go back in September and see him. People have different schedules in the fall than they do during the summer. All right, people, that's my video on the topic. Don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel uh, as we continue to gain subscribers, also Patreon. If you'd like to support the channel, we've got a few new patrons coming on board for at least a dollar a month. I had a couple that did uh, a lot more than that, and I really appreciate that. And uh, if you want to do a buck 
I know it's tough these days, but a buck goes a long way. If we get a whole bunch of people doing a buck, then, you know, I could go anywhere and do this job. I don't have to just stay right here. I could be on some other platform doing this and then, you know, really shooting my mouth off. That would be a lot of fun. But uh, until that happens, um, I appreciate the support and I will see you all soon.